Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. This video is a tutorial on how to create a flipbook on Canva. In this video, we'll talk about what exactly is a flipbook, what is Canva and how you can create a flipbook on the platform Canva. So make sure you're watching this video to the end. Now let's begin. We are on the platform Canva and on this platform, we are going to today create a flipbook. First, let's see what exactly is a flipbook. So I'm just going to use this search bar and type in flipbook. And you can see there are a couple of templates over here. A flipbook is basically something that you will create if you are interested in something and you want to show people what your thoughts are about it. Like say, if you are a teacher, you will create a flipbook of this sort for the little ones. Or if you're a student, you can create a flipbook for your studies like this person has created for mitosis. So if you see there are slides, it's basically a virtual presentation kind of a thing. And it's pretty expressive. There are graphics, there's text on one side. And this is exactly what you can do with your flipbook. Now, why is it useful to create a flipbook? Well, if you are interested in expressing your uh, thoughts about any field, then you can definitely create one. But if you want to make some side income, you can create a flipbook on Canva for free and you can sell it on Amazon KDP. So this will help you earn some side money and that can be your passive income. So that's about flipbook. Now let's see uh, what you can do on Canva. Canva is basically a platform where you can create anything from documents to whiteboards, presentations, social media posts, videos, printable products, websites, whatever you want, even logos you can create. You can create presentations as well and a lot of other things so now let's go ahead and create our flipbook for that all you need to do is go ahead and click on this button on the top right side that says create a design and you can choose from any of these but for a flipbook what i'd suggest is you go to this option that says custom size over here and you change this to inches and type in six in the width and nine in the height this is the standard size and if you click on create new design, you will end up on the editor page. So this is your blank canvas and you can see it's white in color. And on the left side, you've got all these templates and options under design. You've got the styles as well. And then you've got elements where you can add in anything from lines and shapes to graphics and stickers and photos, videos, whatever you want. Then there is the brand hub, which is something new. There is uploads. You can upload anything. There is texts. You can draw as well. Then you can access your projects here. Now let's go ahead and design something on our page. So this is going to be the cover page of our flipbook. Say you want to create a flipbook for fashion. Now let's go ahead and select elements and search for something like sparkles like that. And I am going to search for something that's cute in the graphic section. You can go for something like that and change its color. So to change something's color, you can just go to this box over here. And if you know the color, like if you know uh, its hashtag, then just use that. Or else select from any of the colors over here. So I'm just going to use something that's a bit to the red side and i'm going to use that now you can fill the space by simply expanding it like this or else what i'm going to try is just copy and paste the block like that so that it will fill the border like that and once that is done you can see all the elements this is just a rough design i'm just going to show you how you can use the platform to design your stuff so i'm just going to leave it like that and then we're going to go ahead and add some text so to do that you just need to go to this option on the left side that is text and add something let's add this one now whenever you add a text from the preset texts over here most of the time they will have more than one text in them and all you need to do is click on ungroup to separate them and now you can see that they are separate texts. So I'm going to use this bold one as the main text or the heading. And I'm going to type over here, fashion. And place it in the center. So you can use this uh, option to change the alignment. And mm, once you're happy with it, I just need to increase the size. So once that is done, we can edit this text over here. 
I'm going to write for the fall, right? And again, we can change the alignment to center. That will help us align it with the other text. Now I'm going to go ahead and search for something related to fashion. Let's go to photos this time and select something like this and place it in the center. Now keep in mind this is something very rough. I am not creating anything professional. This is just to show you how you can create a flip book. So that is our cover page. And now let's add another page over here. And I'm going to go ahead into elements again and search for something that can fill in the background. Let's search for something that will look pretty and in sync with the theme of fashion. I have chosen this one because it's kind of floral and it looks pretty as well. So I'm just going to use that one like that and change it to something that's related to the fall uh, colors. So let's just make it something that's a bit towards the orange or brown side. And I'm going to add a box over here. So let's just search for box let's search for a rectangle box of uh, something like that so i'm going to expand the box like that and place it right above our background or this floral stuff and i'm going to change the color and align it with our brown color or let's do this color right so now you can see we have our page over here and i'm going to add another box this time I'm going to go for a square box of this size and I'm going to rotate it like that and place it here. Right, now I'm going to search for brown coat and I'm going to go to photos and search for something that's suitable for a fashion. I think this one's nice. We can crop this photo if we want. And I'm going to place, place it in the center like that with the box aligned to it. And I think this box is looking a little bit off. So we're just going to make it a bit bigger. Rotate it a little more like that. And bring this to the front. You can do that by just going to layer and bring it to front yes something like that so this is how you can create uh, more pages i'm going to add a text over here i'm going to take it from page number one this one i'm going to copy it go to page two paste it and say style one okay that's how you can do your flipbook for fashion or any other purpose and sell it on KDP for earning some side money. And that completes this tutorial on how you can create a flipbook on Canva. I truly hope this video was helpful to you. Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for video topics, do let us know that as well. We'll catch you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.